Why did the paper go to the party? Because it heard it was going to be terrible. But don't worry, our journey today won't be terrible at all. Today we're exploring the initial steps of the paper manufacturing process. It starts with the harvesting of our tall green friends, the softwood trees such as pine and spruce. Imagine being a seedling and growing up to be paper. I didn't see that coming, says the tree probably. And just like that, our tree friends are headed to the paper mill, totally unaware of the transformation they're about to undergo. So the trees arrive at the mill, probably thinking it's some kind of spa retreat. Little do they know. The mill is not a place for relaxation, oh no. It's more like an extreme fitness boot camp for our bark-clad friends. First, they're stripped of their bark, a bit like us shedding our clothes before a workout. Then they're chipped into small pieces akin to us doing a thousand push-ups. Finally, they're cooked into a pulp. Imagine a hot yoga session, but instead of sweat, it's the very essence of the tree that's being wrung out. After surviving the mill's version of a full-body workout, our tree chips are now unrecognizable pulp. They're halfway to becoming the star of your next origami project. Now that our tree chips have been pulped into submission, it's time for the final transformation. Our once mighty tree, now a soupy pulp, is subjected to a bleach bath, a spa treatment if you will, to shed its brown hue and emerge gleaming white. It's like the ultimate glow up, don't you think? After its makeover, the pulp is then drained of excess water, transforming from a liquid state to a damp mass. Next comes the drying phase, where our pulp is gently heated until it becomes a thin, crisp sheet. Finally, this sheet is rolled into large reels, ready to be cut and shaped into the humble paper we know and love. And there you have it. From towering tree to humble sheet of paper, it's a journey that's nothing short of extraordinary.